today's video, I'll be showing you the easiest way to upgrade your house and what you unlock when you upgrade it. We'll also be upgrading some of our tools and finding one of the rarest items in the game. This is part seven of our series, and now let's build a house. Oh, Bruh. and only a few of you guys are actually subscribed, so a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. Alrighty, looks like our axe is done, so we'll go ahead and head into town and grab that. We do not care. So funny story, guys. I actually recorded today's episode right here, the first day, and I realized my audio wasn't recorded. Recording. So we get to redo this day over. Are you stupid or something? Now with that out of the way, some of our goals today is we're actually going to be upgrading our house and a lot of our tools. To upgrade your house, you just need 450 pieces of wood and you need 10,000 gold. So we're going to be able to do that pretty quick here today. Once we get our axe upgraded to the silver level, what we'll do is we'll just head and start getting some hardwood too because we're going to need that for some of the bundles and for some of our stuff that we're going to need later on down the road. But yeah, uh, I got pretty far in the mines before I found out that that, uh, my audio wasn't working, so we're gonna try this again. So once we finish up everything over here, we'll head straight over to Clint's and get our axe and we'll upgrade it again. I'm just telling you, my morning hasn't been the best with all this stuff going on, that's for sure. And also, I know a lot of you guys actually missed last week's episode, so be sure to check that out. Um, we had a lot of fun. We poisoned the governor with the luau, so be sure to watch it. It's 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 really funny. So the other thing too that we unlocked in the last episode is actually the mine carts. So we're gonna head up there and we're gonna go ahead and do that really quick. We'll go over to Clint's and get that knocked out. What's up, buddy? I'm here for my axe. Thank you. Um, can you also process these geodes really quick for me? Poop. Dog water is okay. I'm a back. Another one. Mr. Nice. Oh. Okay. Yes, we got some iridium and upgrade our axe for me. Thank you. We're going to go straight into the mines. Go ahead and get that knocked out. We only need to get down 10 levels. We should be able to do it. I was able to do it last time without uh, without any trouble. So we should be able to do it with me talking this time. <laughs> Found a cave carrot. Okay. And if you guys are enjoying this series, please leave a like below. It goes a long way. It helps me grow and it helps me know that you guys enjoy the content. It truly means a lot. I love you guys in the community. You guys have been seriously so nice with everything. Let's try to get 12 likes on today's video. You really awesome. Yeah, so the floors are a little bit different than when I went down here last time. I mean, just to let you guys know, if you ever see this purple rock, this means there's always something good in there. And just like that, we got some topaz. Okay, well, this floor is already better. I see something nice over here. Look at this. Look at our luck. We found a diamond. We got two of them out of there. And we made it to level 115. Five more levels, guys. Got two magnum geodes. Okay. Found a ruby geode. Okay. And a topaz geode. Okay. We found the room full of mushrooms again. I remember finding this one last time, so this will be nice. These purple mushrooms will help out a lot. Tons of gold over here. Okay. Gold all in my chain. One more level, guys. That's all we need. Found an aquamarine geode. And we did it, guys. Let's see what our item is. We got the skull key, so that's gonna be for the skull cavern mines. Not bad at all. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, that was a really good time in the mines. I'm actually gonna go talk to Sophia, because also this episode, I would love to level up Sophia with our friendship. So I do have this Autumn's bounty I can give her, so I'll give her that. I think she likes them. I don't think she loves them or anything, but we'll give her one of these today. Here you go, Sophia. You're sweet, thanks. Will I see you at the saloon tomorrow? I'm thinking about going. Oh, girl, I'll go just for you, girl. You know that. Yeah, she's almost at two hearts, so I think by tomorrow's stuff, we should actually be able to get her up to two hearts, so that, that should be good. Hello, Elliot. Oh, dear, my shoes are filled with sand. That's trouble living on the beach. I bet it is, Chad. But we're gonna head back to the farm. Uh, we got quite a bit of stuff we can do, so we'll go ahead and start working on that. I'm just glad the audio finally started working, so... Yeah, I had to redo this day twice, because I am not the smartest. You guys know that. Loser, loser. We got tons of pieces of gold, so we'll actually be able to start saving up our gold, that's for sure. Oh, and just a really quick question. Have you guys ever made it to the bottom of the mines? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm just curious. Have you guys ever made it to the bottom? Alrighty, fantastic day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day. 7,800 gold. Gold will definitely take it. Oh, that's a lot of money. Looks like the traveling carts in town today, so we'll head over to that as soon as we can get some of this stuff done here at the farm. And it looks like pretty much all of our corn is ready. We're gonna have an insane harvest day, that's for sure. Sweet, we leveled up our farming. That was nice. And we did get a large milk finally, so we can actually donate that in a community center. Okay, we got some blackberries in here and some wild plums. We'll take it. Alrighty, but before we go down and donate this stuff, we're gonna go actually check out the traveling cart and see if she has anything good for us. Sweet pea. 
Hello, do you have anything good today? Ooh, a truffle. We're actually gonna buy one of those because I know we're gonna need it. And I'm actually gonna buy one more rare seed too. That way we can plant it in the fall in case the other one messes up or something like that. Thank you. Alrighty, let's go ahead and donate some of this stuff in here. So we can donate this large milk. Now we just either need goat milk or wool or a duck egg. We just put the truffle in there. So now we just need a fried egg, maki roll, and a fiddled head. Now it says we can actually find it in the secret forest. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Uh, but before we do that, I just gotta donate something really quick over to Gunther and then we'll go over there and check it out. Because if we can get that this year, we don't have to wait till the next year. That would be really, really nice. Hey bud, I got something for you. There you go, buddy. See ya. Let's see if we can get in the secret woods and actually try to get some fiddled head fern. Here we go. We found some. We can donate that. That was nice. Some more poison mushrooms. Yeah. Don't want to eat those. And I like with the expanded mod, there's so many more opportunities to get hardwood because they add so many more stumps. So that's really, really nice. Yeah, and eventually we won't have to use that stupid chair trick. We could just chop down the hardwood. That'd be nice. Our axe should be ready tomorrow. And then we'll also upgrade our pickaxe. And that way we got those two big ones done. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and donate this fiddled head fern. Get that knocked out really quick. Cool. Now we just need a maki roll and a fried egg. And to get that stuff, we need to upgrade our house so we can make a kitchen and then we can start cooking stuff. That's what we really need. But Sophia said that she would be at the pub today. So we're going to go down there and see if she is. Just talk to her. We can't give her a gift for the rest of this week, but maybe just talking to her will help out quite a bit. There she is. Hey, Sophia. I try to be social every so often. No better place than the saloon. You're absolutely right, girl. I've been spending more time painting lately. Don't you have work to do? Shut up, man. Victor is playing pumpkin smashers. Pumpkin! I kind of wish I had a cat. Unfortunately, my dad is allergic to pretty much anything. That sucks. Should I let Sam win for once? <laughs> hmm, if I give the cue ball a bit of this topspin, maybe I could. See if you got anything good in here. Sometimes he actually has the stuff we need. Okay, we're actually gonna buy the maki roll recipe. We're gonna need that. Oh, he's actually selling strange buns. That's interesting. I mean, we do have a little bit of time. I'm actually gonna go to the beach and see if we can get seaweed, because for that maki roll, we just need rice, seaweed, and fish. Hopefully we can get that stuff. There's lots of forageables down here today. Found some glass shards in the beach. That's not nice. <laughs> that would hurt. That's gotta hurt. And found an anchor. Right, let's see if we can actually get some seaweed or something in here. Two very boring minutes later. All right, no look. We're gonna head back to our farm though. All right, a pretty good day. Let's go ahead and put on the next day and let's see how much money we got. Oh, level eight farming. We can finally make kegs, oil maker, and deluxe speed grow. Awesome. 7,100 gold. We'll definitely take it. All right, we can pick up our axe. So we'll head over there and get that because we can start getting all this wood. Oh, we got some in the mail. I'm gathering data on the correlation between soil, alcohol, something I can't pronounce, and crop fructose levels. Long story short, I need a fresh melon from your farm. If you brought me one, I'd be very grateful. Yeah, we could do that. Just for you, chump. Yes, we got enough melons to finish up that quality crops bundle. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's exactly what we needed. And we have enough to give Demetrius one, too, so that's even better. Alrighty, we're gonna head over to Clint's and get our axe, and then we're gonna upgrade our pickaxe, and then we should be good on our tools for a while. And then what we'll do is we'll donate this stuff and then we will try to get a bunch of wood on the farm. What's up, dude? I'm here for my axe. Thanks, bro. I got some geodes you can open up, though, really quick. You must die! All right. Urgh. Yeah, not too bad. And then can you upgrade my steel pickaxe, please? Thank you. What's up, dude? I got this anchor for you. Here you go, bro. See ya. Let's head up to the community center and go ahead and donate this quality crops. There we go. We got that one done. Okay, cool. We got a preserve jar. That'll come in handy. We can make some jellies now. No jelly arm. No jelly arm. I'm gonna go up north and see if Demetrius is up here uh, so we can give him this melon he wants. Well, there you are. Here you go, buddy. This is perfect. It's just what I need for my research. It's going to be hard not to eat it. Thanks a bunch. You're welcome, bro. Gave us 550 gold for it. Okay, not bad. But the rest of the day is going to be pretty much boring Um, because I'm just going to be chopping down wood. I'm going to try to get as much wood as we can. So hopefully maybe tomorrow or Monday we can actually get our house upgraded because we do have enough money. We just need the wood now. And then we can also start saving up for that hardwood because we're going to need that for some of the bundles too. All righty, let's go ahead and do this thing. <laughs> Alrighty, well, really good time getting all this wood. We ended up getting 560 pieces of wood, not too bad, and 87 pieces of hardwood. Really, 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 really good. Alrighty, but really good day. Let's go ahead and see how much money we got. Leveled up our forging. We can now make lightning rods, wild seeds for the fall, and a warp totem to the beach. Cool. 3,800 gold. We'll definitely take it. Oh, cool. We learned how to make a maki roll, even though we just bought the recipe. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> 
And we got some honey finally, so we can actually put that in one of our bundles. That'll be nice. But once we finish everything over here, we're going to head over to Robin's and try to see if we can get our house started with that upgrade. But let's head up to Robin's and let's see if we can get our house upgraded because she opens at nine. So hopefully we can. We'll see if we can today, though. If not, we can try tomorrow. I'd rather do it today because then we can at least hopefully get it started so it gets done quicker. Yes, she is here. Hey, can you upgrade my house, please? Thank you. I'll get started tomorrow. It should be finished around three days. Summer's nice in Stardew Valley. The temperature stays pretty mild. Well, we did that. Um, let's head to the community center. We got some stuff we can donate. All right, so we donated the honey for the artisan bundle. We got that knocked out. So I'm going to buy this other one for the bus repair. It's 10,000. Oh, we got a free lightning rod out of it. And the next one is just 25,000. So we should actually be getting that pretty soon. So for the construction bundle, we can finish up these two. Now we just need 10 hardwood, which we do have at our house. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Oh, there's Sophia. Hey, wait, where are you going? I got this for you. For me? Thank you so much. Oh, I'm ruining my eyeliner. Sorry, now isn't a good time. I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoy the cake. Yes, we got her up to two hearts. Awesome. Cool. Let's go ahead over the traveling cart. Maybe she'll have something good over there today. I doubt that very much. Hello. Do you have anything good today for me? Honestly, nothing really that good. I mean, she does have a quality sprinkler, but I don't want to spend that much money on it. Uh, thank you, I guess. We can finally chop this log over here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and go back into the secret woods over here too. Just gonna get a little bit of hardwood in here. Oh, got a dwarf scroll. Okay. A shrub seed. What the heck is a shrub seed? Plant this in the beginning of spring takes 14 days. Maybe when we get our greenhouse, I'll check it out and see what it looks like because I've never seen that. I know that's one of the new added things in the game. Found another shrub seed. Okay. That's something screwy is going on here. A uh, fiddled head fern. Fiddle's worth, sir. All right, let's go to the community center and donate this hardwood and that should hopefully unlock us something really nice. You know, get that nice gift or whatever you want to call it. Hey, Abigail. Do you ever get an urge to go exploring, Grant? Okay, pretend you just want a free vacation. Where would you go? The beach. Huh, I think that would get old fast. You're getting old fast. <laughs> That's what I actually did for my last vacation. I went to the beach. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up this construction bundle. There we go. We got it done. Let's see what our gift is. Charcoal kiln. Turns 10 pieces of wood into one piece of coal. Not the best, but I'll take it. I don't really have a problem with getting coal, so it's still nice to get something like that, I guess. I'm going to go to the beach, though. I'm going to try to get some seaweed, and we're going to try to get some fish. Hopefully we can. That'd be really nice, because then we can start making that maki roll or whatever. And right, we'll go fishing over here and see what we can get. Got a red mullet, and our treasure is some bait. Okay. Well, we got a fish for it. Now we just need some seaweed. Yeah, I've been having some good luck fishing. That's for sure. I missed like three in a row. They've all been like the super fast ones. There we go. We got seaweed. All right. We're going to head back to the farm. We got what we needed. All righty. Really good day. We're going to go ahead and put it on the next day and see how much money we got. 3,600 gold. We'll take it. Awesome. Our pickaxe is ready. So we'll go ahead and pick that up here in a little bit. Thank God we don't have to water our plants today. That's nice. Yeah, Robin will be done with her house in a few days. That would be really, really nice. Hey, you guys are all stuck in here today because it's raining, huh? You can actually make some cheese press is now. So now we can actually get cheese for one of the bundles too. Oh wow, we got a lot of stuff in here. Some wild plums, blackberries, spice berry, and a salmon berry. We'll take it. Yeah, so we're going to pick up our pickaxe and we're going to be able to break off a lot of those big rocks in our farm. So that'll be really, really nice. What's up, dude? I'm here for my pickaxe. Thank you. I think the next thing we're going to upgrade is probably the trash can that we have on us. So that way when I do go places and I have to throw stuff away, we at least get a little bit of money for it. I'm the trash man. Hey, Pierre, I was wondering if you have any rice that we can buy. Yes, get some rice. And I am going to buy an apple sapling as well. We're going to plant that now. And that way, by the time fall turns around, we can actually get some apples because we're going to need three of them for the bundle. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get that in the fruit cave anytime soon. So I'm going to plant that up as well. There we go. We got it planted and we got some cheese cheese so we can donate that too. Let's go ahead and donate that cheese. Let's donate this for the artisan bundle. So now we just need pretty much fruit or a jelly which we will have a jelly here in, in a little bit. So pretty much just fruit or oil or something like that. So we're coming along pretty well with that. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day fishing just because we need to level that up a little bit more too. We haven't done that too much fishing this playthrough so we'll do it. All right let's see what we can get. All right we got a starfish and our treasure is... <laughs> Ancient sword. Okay. Neptune sword. Ooh, and we got an emerald ring. Okay. That was a pretty good haul. I don't think I've ever found a ring fishing. And the comment of the day, guys, is what's the craziest thing you've ever found fishing in like the treasure? Was it like an ancient seed? Was it a bunch of coal? Was it like how I just found a ring and some swords? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, we got a red snapper and our treasure is Bruh. some wood. Okay. All right, we got a red snapper and our treasure is. <laughs> Yes, we got an ancient seed. Oh my goodness. Holy moly. If you guys know how long it took me to get one last time, you wouldn't believe me, but oh my goodness. We did it. We did it, guys. We got an ancient seed. 
Man, we had some crazy luck today fishing. I'm so glad we did it today. I almost didn't, to be honest. I was almost like, yeah, let's go to the mines. But I was like, nah, you know what? Let's do fishing. And oh, I am so glad we did. Let's get some Easter Island emojis in the chat. If you guys have made it this far and you saw the ancient seed, let's get a bunch of those. Let's spam it in the comments, guys. Yeah, my heart raced as soon as I saw I opened up the treasure. I'm like, oh, it's a small seed. That's an ancient seed. I'm like, yes. <laughs> I know I get excited over the really stupid things, but that's what makes life so good. You got to enjoy the little things in life because that's what makes the big things even better. Shut up about the ancient seed. All right, we got a flounder and our treasure is a geo. All right, but we did some pretty good fishing. We're going to head back to our farm. Man, I am so excited. We're going to be able to donate that ancient seed over to Gunther and get some ancient seeds actually this time around. Robin's out here working in the rain still. All righty, but fantastic day. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day. Leveled up our fishing. We can now make a cork bobber and a treasure hunter. 5,300 gold. We'll definitely take it. All right, looks like we're going to have a big harvest today for sure, man. All this corn is done. Oak resin. And we made our first keg. Awesome. That way we can start making some wine. We definitely need that because that's going to be used for a couple of the bundles. And it looks like just a spice berry in here, but we're going to put that in the keg because we don't really have anything else right now. That way we can actually get some wine. All right, but let's head over to Gunther's. Let's donate some of this stuff and then we can plant that ancient seed up. What's up, buddy? I got some stuff for you. New reward and another new reward. So we got our ancient seed. We got our recipe for our ancient seed. And it looks like we got another rare crow. Okay, I'll definitely take it. So I'm going to buy some deluxe speed grow and put it on the ancient seed. That way it grows really fast and we can get it pretty, pretty quickly here. Hey, Pierre. <laughs> Oh, he just sells regular speed grow. Okay, we already have that, so we'll just use that instead. So we'll put our ancient seed right there, and it says 25 days, so not too bad. And we'll put our other rare crow right here, but we're going to get rid of some of this grass. I don't want it to kill our ancient fruit. If I'm going to go up to the mines, we're actually getting a little bit low on copper for some reason. So I'm going to go up there, and we're going to try to get some copper. Maybe we can kill some bugs and get another ancient seed. Who knows? So the best place to find copper is actually between level 15 and 25. And once you've actually beaten, you know, all the caves, you'll have a pretty OP knife or sword, whatever you want to call it. So most of these guys, as you can see, are one shot and even these little bugs right here. But those blue bugs, those ones actually have the chance of dropping the ancient seed. Okay, there's a little bit of copper down here. We need that. <laughs> And somehow I found another ancient seed. Another one. I swear this happened last time. I remember the first time I found it in my last play playthrough. It took forever. But then right after that, I started finding more and more of them. Well, I mean, that's awesome. It means we can plant two of these up. We'll put that speed grow on it and that'll help out a lot. And yeah, another nice thing about killing these bugs is you actually have a small chance of getting some bait as well or bug meat, whatever you want to call it. And you can turn that into bait. So if you ever need some instead of buying it, just do this. A few minutes later. Alrighty. Well, pretty decent time in the mines. Didn't find too much but we'll head back to our farm because uh, we got a bunch of copper that we can put in the furnace and we can plant this other ancient seed. Alrighty, but really good day. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day. 6,500 gold. We'll definitely take it. Achievement. Moving up. All right. Didn't say I. We finally got our bigger house so we can make that Maki roll. We're going to go ahead and do that really quick. All right. So you can also store food inside of here in case you didn't know, but here we go. And we just made that Maki roll. So that one's done. Now we just need to make a fried egg, which we can do that too. Dear Grant, how are things going? You must be really be making a fortune on that farm. Don't forget to your old mother when you're a millionaire. Love mom. Yes, enjoy the cake. Oh, thanks for the cake. So we could just use these eggs, make some fried eggs, and then we'll have that bundle done. And we cooked a fried egg. Hey! So since it's going to be raining tomorrow, we're actually going to upgrade our watering can as soon as we're done here, because that'll come in handy quite a bit too. And a salmon berry in here and a blackberry. All right, cool. It looks like we got some jelly, so we'll actually be able to donate that too. All right, but we're going to head over to Clint's and get this watering can upgraded. What's up, dude? Can you upgrade my watering can please thank you chump see you chump okie dokie we got some good stuff we can donate in here starting over here with the chef's bundle completed this one sweet what did we get another pink cake three of them okay we've actually been getting a lot of these little bundles done and then the artisan bundle we can put in the jelly sweet so we just need two more items so i'm gonna look for sophia i, I want to give her one of these pink cakes see if she likes it she's on her farm okay let's see if we can go talk to her really quick oh we have a cutscene. who's that hey you seem a bit out of it is everything okay boo oh she don't seem good so sorry, I'm just trailing off in thought. You said the doctor prescribed you new medicine. Is it helping with? Uh, I don't think so. It, yeah, it helps. Hey, you'll get through this. I'll visit you a hundred times if that's what it takes. Blow up. 
Here I come through. You always know how to cheer me up. Hey, Sophia. Who's that guy? It's your lover. Oh, um, that's Grant, the new farmer I told you about. Yeah, I'm the cool dude here. I got the riz. Nice to meet you, Grant. I'm Scarlet, a friend of this dork. Getting into farming business, it's tough work. I live in Grampleton with my papa. He's over at Marnie's with the truck loading up a bunch of milk and wool. Oh, okay, that's why I haven't seen her. We met during a cosplay meetup. Oh, that's awesome. Grampleton is kind of far away. I really appreciate when she visits. Yeah, that's nice to have a friend like that. Shoot, I should run back. He's probably just about done now. Oh, okay. Text me later. For sure, I'll send you something funny. Send you some memes. It was nice meeting you, Grant. Nice meeting you too. Bye, boo. Bye, you. Hey. What's up? Did you hear anything we were talking about? No, I heard nothing. If you did, please keep it to yourself. Okay. Yeah, why would I tell anyone about that? You know, I might be able to cheer you up with some of this cake. Here you go, Sophia. For me? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hey, sorry about earlier. I just have a lot of feelings. Um, so you met Scarlet. She doesn't visit very often, but we usually call each other a text. It's okay. Yeah, wow. That almost got her up to three hearts. She likes the pink cake. She doesn't love it, but that's not bad. So what we're going to do is because we're actually getting low on iron. I checked when we did our watering can. So we're going to go back up to the mines again and do the iron and see if we can get quite a bit. The good mayor put me in charge of this town's public gardens. I've been working on the town flower beds for months, so don't step on them. Don't tell me what to do, you old bag. Shut up, you old bag. Alrighty, so the best place to get iron is actually between level 40 and level 55. And 60, I guess, too. But these are the best places to find iron. And what you can do is if you're not having good luck when you first walk down, you can just keep going back and forth until you find a room full of iron. It looks like we're having some pretty good luck in here. Found a jade. Got a frozen geode. Not too bad. And two omni geodes. Even better. Got some frozen tears. All these little zealots down here. Get out of here. Stop again, zealots! Winter root. Alrighty, not too bad. We got 32 pieces of iron, so that's pretty good. Let's head back to our farm and go ahead and smelt up some of this stuff we got. Alrighty, what a great, great day. Let's go ahead and put it on the next day. 3,500 gold. We'll take it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun. We were able to upgrade our house and I showed you guys how to do that. We were also able to upgrade quite a bit of our tools. So thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace.